So is Ethereum Classic one of the best GPU mineable coins? Well, let's find out. Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Quite a few videos coming out every week in the cryptocurrency space. Also, I have something going on called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. This just happens to be the enter to win video for Bitcoin Friday. So details on how to enter will be at the end of this video. So be sure to watch all the way through to find out how you can enter Bitcoin Fridays. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell and hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. So I do a lot of um, speculative coin mining videos and other how to mine videos. And I realized I've never done one on Ethereum Classic. And I found that kind of odd because I've been mining Ethereum Classic now pretty much predominantly on my AMD rig for about a year and a half. So I figured I would do a how to mine video, go over it briefly, and see whether it's one of the best GPU mineable coins. So let's go ahead and go over to their website here real quick, ethereumclassic.org. All of these links will be down below in the description, so don't worry about looking for any of this information as usual. So I'm not going to go through and read all this word for word. Just basically going to go, what is Ethereum Classic? Ethereum Classic is a smarter blockchain. It is a network, a community, and a cryptocurrency that takes digital assets further. In addition to allowing people to send value to each other, the Ethereum Classic allows complex contracts that operate autonomously and cannot be modified or censored. This may be best explained with an analogy. Imagine Bitcoin as a landline phone. It does one thing very well. Ethereum Classic is like a smartphone. It can do everything Bitcoin can do and much more. So Ethereum Classic. Let's go over to let's go over to Coin Market Cap. Current price seven dollars ninety one cents. It has been as high as I think forty five dollars. Yeah, forty five fifty one. Good upside. It seems like we're entering the beginnings of a bull market here now so this could very well go up to there and maybe even higher depending on the overall mad rush of people this time into cryptocurrency which is yet to be seen yet to be discovered so we'll just have to hang around and wait for that but ethereum classic's got a definite upside we go over to what to mine I've already got my AMD rig selected. I've got a 580, a 570, and four 560s, but what to mine doesn't have 560, so four 560s equals about two 570s. So that's why I got three 570s in there and one 580. So if you go over, click calculate, scroll down here, there's Ethereum Classic number three. It's always near the top with, the, with a lot of these AMD cards solid coin to mine it's been like that for a very long time if we go over to nvidia my nvidia rig i got a 1060 1070 ti and two 1660 ti's click calculate it's not quite the same story but it's still not too bad you gotta scroll down a little bit so here's ethereum classic take home of a dollar 57 for those four cards uh, i'm mining it right now uh, Ethereum Classic is so what I'm doing with both my rigs. I'm mining Ethereum Classic, converting it to Bitcoin. I'm trying to build my Bitcoin stores up at the moment. I've got a decent amount of Ethereum Classic, so that's why I decided to mine Ethereum Classic and just convert it to Bitcoin for now. So, real quick, if you missed my video yesterday on Innova Mine, be sure to check that out and see whether or not I was able to withdraw my initial investment of Bitcoin or not. Kind of, kind of surprised me, so be sure to check that out. Video should be popping up here, and it'll also be at the end of this video. So make sure you watch this video through, and then go ahead and hop over and check that one out. All right, let's figure out how to mine this thing. So first thing we're going to need is a wallet. I suggest this multi-coin wallet, Exodus. I, I have Exodus. I have Zellcore, uh, an offline wallet, a couple different wallets. I don't like to keep all my cryptocurrency in one one wallet per se, one multi-coin wallet, but this is a good wallet. I started with this one when I started cryptocurrency over a year and a half ago now. So I've had this a while. Uh, you got over 100 coins you can put in this wallet. So if you wanted to mine something else besides Ethereum Classic, 
or hold any other type of cryptos that's supported by this wallet. It's just a good idea. So here is my wallet right here. Once you download, once you click download right here, just run through the prompts and it'll install. And this is what it looks like. You can see I got 53 Ethereum Classic right now. So what you'll need to do is click receive and just click this little button right here, copy, and it'll copy that Ethereum Classic address. So for the miners, so for AMD, you have Phoenix Miner. That's the one I use. Works very well. If you scroll down here a little bit, click on this Mega NZ link, it'll take you over to here, and you would just double click on this Phoenix 4.2C right there. It'll download. So let me pull up my AMD rig. I put it in this own folder called Phoenix Miner 4.2C ETC. So you would go into here. And you're going to need to open up a notepad file. So let me click on this right here, edit. And here is the information right here. It's this information will be down below this video and also the NVIDIA bat file as well. So don't worry about trying to figure any of this stuff out. So the only thing you're going to need to change in here is your wallet right here. And if you want to keep Mining Pool Hub, that's what I'm using right now, you can leave that there. Of course, you'd have to sign up for an account. Or if we go over to here, here is a bunch of pools that you can choose from. If you don't want to use Mining Pool Hub, Mining Pool Hub is the number three right there as far as top pools. If, like I said, if you don't want to use that, just go over here and choose one of these other pools. And they should have a getting started on those pool websites. And they'll show you how to get it set up. But anyways, here is the pool information. You can just change that if you do decide to change pools. And you'll need to change your wallet address. The eWorker, you can just put the same information in that you put in for your e-wallet address right there. That's fine. I have .amd rig. That's my rig identifier. You can leave that blank or you can name your computer, whatever you want. Just name it dot my computer or dot whatever, or you can just leave it blank. It's up to you. So take this information. It'll be down below this video. Paste it into a notepad file. Then you're going to click file, save as for the purposes of this video. I want to name it run one dot BAT, make sure it's a dot BAT, click save. So now if we go into here, there is the file we just created, run one dot BAT. Here's the miner running in the background. So I'm going to stop that right now. And then all we'll have to do is double click on the file we just created. It'll go through, find the cards. It'll take a little bit to decipher the cards, set the DAGs on them, and get them going. And then once it does that, it's off to the races, and it will be mining. So in my case, I'm using Mining Pool Hub. So let me go over to Mining Pool Hub. Here I am. There I am mining Ethereum Classic, converting it over to Bitcoin here. So if I click on Ethereum Classic, dashboard, dashboard, this will show you my total hash rate. And if I click Workers, you should see AMD rig right here with a check mark active and in the NVIDIA rig check mark active. That's your rig identifier right there. That's where it'll pop up. So if we go back over to the rig, it's still going through its setup process. It's fine tuning the GPUs and it should be good to go. Overclocks, if you guys are interested in that, the 580, 1225 core, 2200 memory, 15 undervolt. The 560s are all at 1200 core, 2100 memory with a 22 undervolt, power undervolt. And the 570, if we go down to the bottom here, 1225 core, 2200 memory with a 15 undervolt on the power limit. So it looks like we're sitting at about 117.7 mega hash. That may float up to, I've seen it go up as high as 120. So let's go ahead and check out the NVIDIA rig. There it is building up a little bit. And so let me close this out and we'll open up the NVIDIA rig. All right, so here is the NVIDIA rig. It's pulled up. This runs Claymore, the latest version of Claymore. 
which is going to be right here, 14.7, latest version. You click this Mega NZ again right there, it'll take you over to here, and you'll just click the bottom one for the Windows version. If you don't have Windows and you have a Linux type deal, you just click the one right above it. It'll download to your rig or computer. I unzip mine, called it Claymore 14.7 ETC. So you would go into here. This computer is a little laggy. All right, so once you're inside, let me scroll down. I created my own bat file, which is right here, run. So let me go to edit and show you what that looks like. This NVIDIA rig is always laggy for some reason. Okay, so just like the AMD rig, this exact file will be down below in the description. So all you're gonna to need to do again, change your pool address, or you can sign up for Mining Pool Hub, it doesn't cost anything, and just leave that the way it is. But what you're gonna to need to change is your e-wallet, mine is ritzamillion.nvidia rig, or if you have, if you're just mining straight to your wallet, just like we did here, you would just copy that, there's your wallet address, and that's what you would put in place of Ritz a million. Dot NVIDIA rig. Again, that's your rig identifier. You can leave that blank if you want. And again, the same thing for the eWorker, just NVIDIA rig. All right, so that's that. Let's click on File and Save As. So just like we did in the last one, going to, for the purposes of this video, run one dot VAT make sure it's a dot VAT otherwise it won't work click save so let me close out of this and there's the run one file we just created so let me go over to the miner right here let me close it then we will go right here and all you gotta do is double click on it and it will pull the mining program up see what kind of cards you have again it will tune the cards real quick set the DAGs on them the buffers etc and then it'll be off to the races and mining there we go and again you always want to go over the pool no matter what pool you choose and make sure that it is showing up on the pool otherwise you're going to be wasting your time and sending shares into the cyberspace for nothing Okay, so last but not least, what you need to do to enter Bitcoin Fridays this week, you're going to need to be subscribed, hit that notification bell, and you're going to need to tell me how many Ethereum Classic I have mined, which is 53 Ethereum Classic. So you're going to need to put the amount of Ethereum Classic down in the comments below, your BTC wallet address, subscribe, notification bell. And that's it, guys, okay? So... That's it, guys. Again, if you missed that Innova Mine video, be sure to check that out and see whether I was too able to withdraw my BTC, my initial investment, or not. Also, if you missed that Honey Miner review video, I, that will be popping up here in a second as well. Okay, guys, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to put them down below. I love interacting with you guys, and I will be looking forward to those comments. Okay? Take care. Bye.